Hi. Now in this tutorial what I want to do is show you how we differentiate exponential functions of the form e to the power x and beyond. And what we're going to do is something called the chain rule. But before we start, if you had say y equals e to the power x, then you should already know that dy by dx, if you were to differentiate with respect to x, you'd always get e to the x back. And if you had a number in front of e to the x, a constant, like for instance say 2, let's just put a 2 in, you'd always get back for dy by dx 2e to the x. If you had another constant, say 3, or minus 3, you'd get back minus 3e to the x, and so on. So if you had any constant, which we'll just call, say, a, then if y equals ae to the x, you get dy by dx is always that constant a multiplied by e to the x. Now suppose we had y equals, say, a constant, e to the power t, then it would follow by this, not that dy by dx would equal, but dy by dt this time, it would equal a e to the t. So that seems fine. If I had, say, one y equals, say, 2 e to the p, I could say that therefore dy by dp would equal 2e to the p. Dead easy. But what happens if instead of having x or t or p we've got something far more complicated than that? Like this example. Number two. Suppose we have y equals 3e to the x squared, say. Notice that we just haven't got x anymore, but now we've got x squared. Well, we have to do something different. We have to use what is called the chain rule. And I'll just introduce you to this. And the chain rule is a very important concept. You're going to find yourself using this many times over in differentiation. Suppose you need to find dy by dx for a particular function. And we're going to be looking at functions like this, e to the x squared for instance. What we can do is we can say this is dy by d something, let's just put a dot there for the moment, multiplied by the same d something by dx. It's almost as if these cancel, just leaving you with dy over dx. So what is these d somethings? Well, they've got to be the same, and we'll make them dt. We'll put that in dt. You can choose whatever you like, really, but I'm just going to let them be dt's. So what does this mean? Well, if we go over to y equals 3e e to the x squared, what I can do is just say that this is 3e e to the t, say. And you'll notice I've let the t be the x squared. So I'll we'll just say where t equals x squared. So what does this mean? Well, if we use the chain rule up here, let's just highlight that, we'll be able to find dy by dx. Because by the chain rule, dy by dx, let's just put therefore dy by dx, is going to be dy by dt. Now we've already seen up here if y equals a e to the t, dy by dt is that constant a e to the t. So we've got that here. We've got a e to the t, a is the 3. So if we differentiate this with respect to t, dy by dt, this first part here, we're going to get 3e to the t. I won't write the t in because I know that t is x squared, so I'll just write 3e to the x squared. 
and I'll put that in brackets just to signify that that's the first part here. Now we've got to multiply it by dt dx and we know that t is equal to x squared so dt by dx in the usual way if you differentiate t with respect to x you're going to get 2x so we just put in brackets here 2x. So I've used the chain rule here dy by dt times dt by dx. This gives me overall dy by dx. Just need to clean this up. 3 times the 2 is 6. Put that x at the beginning, 6x, and then e to the x squared. Alright? Let's do another one. Example 3. Let's say we have y equals minus 5e and this time we'll have a power which has got two terms in, 3x plus 2. So we've got minus 5e to the 3x plus 2. We need to change this to just a single letter. So what we can do is we can say that this is equal to minus 5e to the t. Only this time we've got where t is the 3x plus 2. So, when it comes to finding dy by dx, we can use the chain rule. We know that to find dy by dx, we've got to find dy by dt first of all, and then multiply it by dt dx. So, dy by dt, well, we know that y equals minus 5e to the t. And if we differentiate that, like we have up here, the answer is going to be minus 5e to the t. So we'd write minus 5e to whatever t was, but t was 3x plus 2. So just write that in as 3x plus 2. Put that in brackets. I'd always recommend that. Then we multiply it by dt dx. But t equals 3x plus 2. So if we differentiate 3x plus 2 with respect to x, we're just going to get 3. So, tidy it up. Minus 5 times 3 is minus 15. And then we've got e to the power 3x plus 2. Now what I would encourage you to do is to eventually not to write the blue bits that I've got here. It's up to you though, but uh, I personally don't write these. I kind of think them, okay? So it looks a lot neater and less work really, okay? So I'd encourage you to be able to do the chain rule in your head. Anyway, I just want to do another example. We'll come down here. This is example four. Suppose we had y equals, say, five over e to the 2x. What about questions like this where our exponential function is in the denominator of a fraction? Well, what I can do is think of this as 5 times 1 over e to the 2x, and then that becomes 5e to the minus 2x. Hopefully you remember your rule of indices, that when you've got anything to a power in the denominator, when you bring it up to the top, it becomes the negative of that power. OK, so we've got that. And we can think of this now as being equal to 5e to the power t, where in this example, t is equal to the minus 2x. So when it comes to finding dy by dx, again by the chain rule, we find dy by dt first of all, so there's y in terms of t, y equals 5e to the t, so if you differentiate that with respect to t, you're going to get 5e to the t. So it would be 5e to the minus 2x. Put that in brackets. Now we need to multiply by dt by dx. So if I differentiate this, t equaling minus 2x with respect to x, it's going to be minus 2. Tidy this up, and what you've got is minus 10e to the minus 2x. So, I hope by now you're starting to get the uh, idea of how you can differentiate exponential functions when they have got more than just an x 
at the as the power here. Okay? Just use the chain rule. Okay, well that brings us now to the end of this tutorial.